The worst place to build a space colony. What's the worst place to build a space colony? Well, take your pick. Venus. Sure, if you like a 900 degree heat, atmospheric pressure that would crush a submarine, and clouds of sulfuric acid, Venus is less of a paradise and more of a suburb of hell. Your habitat would corrode, melt, and implode. Probably in that order. Then there's Jupiter's atmosphere, an endless ocean of hydrogen storms with nowhere to land, pressure that could crush steel like paper, and gravity that could turn your muscles to jelly. How about the event horizon of a black hole? You'd experience time so warped your friends would be dust before you finished unpacking, assuming you just slip a little too close and get stretched into cosmic spaghetti. And finally, picture a lonely rogue planet drifting between stars, utterly dark and frozen hundreds of degrees below zero, with no sunlight, no geothermal comfort, just an eternal black winter. Funny enough, we actually have episodes on how to turn all these nightmare worlds into thriving colonies, from floating cities in Venus's clouds to shell worlds around black holes and buried oceans under rogue ice, even to colonizing the surface of stars themselves, all under the known laws of physics. As it happens, with enough engineering, even the worst real estate in the cosmos can be pretty spectacular. When it comes to terraforming, if brute force isn't working, you are not using enough of it.